Hi guys, here we are going to see what is the basic representation theorem and the Euclid's division lemma. The basic representation theorem says that any integer n can be represented to any base k where k is greater than 1 as follows n is equal to a s k to the power s plus a s minus 1 k to the power s minus 1 goes up to a naught which means that n has been written as a sum of powers of the base k. Few things which we have to remember is that the coefficient of the highest power of the base should be non-zero and all the other coefficients are all positive, they can be zero also. The coefficients take the values from zero to k minus one. In our day-to-day -day life, we use the base 10, which means k value is 10. Any integer can be represented to the base 10. In computer science, we use the base 2, 8, 16, and whenever we take a base which is greater than 10, we use alphabets for notation. Let's see an example. What if we want to convert 23 to different base? Because the theorem says that any integer can be expressed to any base. Or in other words, any integer can act as a base to represent some number. Here we take 23 and we'll try to represent 23 to different bases 10, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We know that 23 is nothing but 2 into 10 to the power 1 plus 3 into 10 to the power 0. We've represented 23 to the base 10. This is our decimal representation. Here the base k is 10. We can see the coefficient of highest power of 10 is non-zero because we have 2. And all other coefficients, 2 and 3, they all are from 0 to 9. Because coefficients take the value from 0 to k minus 1. So here, base is k. So our a naught we can see is 3 and a1 is 2. If we write 23 to the base 2, when we divide 23 repeatedly by 2, we will get this as a representation 10111. Here, coefficients a0, a1, a2, a3, a4, they are as this 1110 and 1. Because Coefficients take values from 0 to k minus 1. Here coefficients can only take either the value 0 or the value 1 where provided the coefficient of the largest power of the base is not 0. Because if it becomes 0, then when we add this right hand side, it will not give us our original number. What if we represent 23 to the base 3? Then when we divide 23 by 3 repeatedly, we get the values as 2, 1, 2. These are the remainders. And this has been written as a sum of powers of 3. We can see A0 is 2, A1 is 1 and A2 is 2. All of them are positive. Then the values of these coefficients lie from 0 to k minus 1, k is 3. So our values lie from 0 to 2. All values are either 1 or 2 in our case. And the coefficient of the highest power of 3 is 2 which is non-zero. When we represent 23 to the base 4, we see it comes out to be 1, 1, 3. We have divided 23 by 4 repeatedly. This is the representation 113. We can write 
23 as powers of 4 in base 4 representation and the coefficients here can take values from 0 to 3. We can see that that condition is also satisfied and the largest uh, power of 4 has the coefficient 1 which is non-zero. For base 5, 23 comes out to be 43 when we divide 23 by 5 repeatedly. Here also we can see that Ais are from 0 to 4, A0 is 3 and A1 is 4 and the coefficient, the first coefficient or the coefficient of the highest power of 5 is non-zero. Coming to the Euclid's division lemma. The Euclid's division lemma says that when we divide any given integer j by another integer k, then we can write it as j is equal to k q plus r, where j is our dividend the number which is being divided. K is the divisor, the integer by which we are dividing. Q is nothing but the quotient and R is the remainder. One thing which we have to remember is the remainder is always less than our divisor, but it can be, the remainder can be zero, remainder is always positive. We'll take one example. If we divide 23 by 5, we can see that 23 can be written as 4 into 5 plus 3, where 5 is the divisor. We are dividing by 5. 4 is the quotient and 3 will be the remainder. 3 is less than 5, the remainder is less than the quotient uh, by the divisor and it is positive. Let's write using our division lemma the when we divide 27 by 3. So 27 we can see is completely divisible by 3. So 27 is written as 3 into 9 and the remainder here is 0. 3 is the divisor, 9 is the quotient. In the second example, 27 is divided by 5. So if we express using the division lemma, we'll see that 27 is divided by 5, leaves a quotient 5 and the remainder is 2. Here the remainder is positive which is 2 and it is less than the divisor 5. What happens when we divide a negative number? How do we find the remainder? Now this is a little tricky. Let's say we are dividing minus 27 by 5. Then minus 27 we know we can always write it as 5 into minus 5 which will give us minus 25 minus 2 which is minus 27. So both the sides of equality are satisfied. But this is wrong mathematically because the remainder is negative minus 2 and the remainder has to be positive. So this is not correct, the way of repre uh, representing minus 27 upon 5. Now let's see, if we write minus 27 is equal to 5 into minus 6, then if I add, this gives us minus 30. If I add plus 3, I get minus 27. So this is perfect. Here remainder is positive and minus 27 is achieved when we divide by 5. Thank you guys for watching.